Yo guys, what is up, it is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. We're going to be, I took the liberty of riding up here without you guys, um, because we didn't need, we didn't need horseback riding time with Nick. We just needed, we didn't need that. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. May your axe never crumble. So let's just, let's get this thing going. So, what have you brought Most of this is dialogue. I think I'm gonna skip the race. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. You know, I don't get the point of that dialogue. Like, they should not have that dialogue if I shave. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls, exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know, every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating. But I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Honored to be asked, but maybe some other time. Eh, shame. Enough of the Nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. Well, if not today, then when? 
You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Across the wide, somber sea, I will Do yes. you have no shame? Shame? Yes. Yes. Why would I? The queen sacrificed a whole flock. What did you say in the beast's letters? I almost feel like there's no point in me talking because you can hear everybody else talking in this place. I think I'm gonna not get in a fight. Well, yeah, let's just not get in a fight up here. I don't know. I'll see. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindisfial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Calm down, Lugos. No wench will teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. Greetings, Geralt. Farewell. Then I left myself What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. All right, now let's go. tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. No need to worry about looting, I'm not heavy. Where are my arms? Shh! Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Grass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales croon. This will be tough to open. Ravens. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come. There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia. 
Being romantic. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Come here, you bears. Oh, can shit. Feel them. Oh, shit. Closer. Shit's they're falling. Everywhere. I don't even know what the hell just happened there. Yo, a game case just like fell. I was insane. What the hell was that? It's like a ghost in my room. Oh my god, I'm getting raped by these wolves. Stop it, you little shits! Strange. Smells of mushrooms in here. No. To my mind, it's the scent of sweet grass. God, these wolves! Stop it, bear. The bears are easier than the wolves. That's one less. Okay, that bear's coming to life. Let me go ahead. Let's see here. I don't know why. I'm... Why am I using my silver sword? Is that what you use to fight just regular an animals? I guess maybe it is. I guess I'll use this. Damn, you There we go. It's okay if we can stop tripping now. Yep, here we go. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morhen finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's right. go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. All right, I need the cup. That's the skull. Uh. Our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The mask of Erberos must be here. There's the cup. Dwarven triple mead. Okay. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Congratulations, you're correct. This is it. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. Be careful now. Can we take a second to realize that thing was already spawned. Thing. You best yield now. It's a trap. We're in prison. Just wonderful. Come on, Earth Elemental. I'll just eat your tags. Let's go. Oh, you little shit. You little shit. Oh, shit. Okay, now the goal is to put all these out. Put them out, put them out. Put Hear them that? Out. Smelled it. Gas. Grate still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Come on. Come on. Two more. Come on. One more. Victory. Let's go. Now, how many can I get lit? One. No, I only got one. I could have gotten Damn two or three. Poison us. 
This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. So this time I'm not going to go back there. I'm just going to let her sew her her um am I trying to say sew her dress back. A what? This is different. No, heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond. And must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forward. My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! May the best man a woman win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to Speaker Og. Aha, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Ciri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought, 
We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvold, tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here and Ardskelleg. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed were they of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krach. I will see you later. Alright guys, so let's level up here real quick. We are level 15 now. And we got something else in lockdown here, so I want to put one of them into something new, maybe? I don't know, I'm not really seeing anything new that I want. So I'm actually just going to... not really using the alchemy stuff, like I don't really need that, but... I guess let's go ahead and put it into Igni. Sign intensity. That's not that good. Like, I don't really need that. Hmm. Yurden, Gwen. I don't really need Gwen. Um. Guess let's grab this for now. And now I'll put points into this. There we go. Let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and meditate for an hour. I'll just meditate for that amount of time. Refill my swallow. And I'm going to call it an episode there. In the next episode, we'll meet Yennefer at the side of the Magic Cataclysm. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all then. Peace out.